This tutorial is for a viewer. His name is Evil Guy Six Five Four. He's using Blender Two Point Five, which I am not that familiar with, so I'm going to stumble around here a little bit finding things. But this is his main issue. If we hit P in to go into game mode here, he created this little game, and you can move this cube around. But you notice that the shading is all messed. Up. There is no shading. Everything's solid colors. The ground is a solid black, and our cube is a solid white. Hit Escape to get out of that. And there's two reasons for this. One is his lighting. I'm going to hit three to go into side view and five to get out of perspective mode. I'm going to choose our light here and I'm going to go over here to object data. And he has it set as a spotlight, uh, which you can do, but I, I don't think that's needed in this. I think going to area light would be better. And then also rotating this light so that it's not directly over our object. If I go back to our camera view here and hit P, you can now see that the ground has shading to it. But our player, our cube, is still a solid white. Why? I have no clue. I, I It's something, uh, Evil Guy, that you clicked on at some point. I'm not familiar enough with a 2.5 interface to figure it out, to go through all the things I would normally go through. I looked at the materials. The materials seemed correct. Um, so, um, th our issue here is something that was done with this cube. Because if I go up to add mesh and I add a new cube and I hit P, you can see the new cube has, whoop, kind of bounced around there, sorry. The new cube has shading to it. So let's do this. I'm going to scale down the new cube till it's about the same size as the uh, original cube. Then I'm going to shift click the original cube and I'm going to go down here to object up to logic brick and go copy. Now I can come up here and I can choose your original cube. I can right click that and click delete. Now if I hit P to play you can see there's the new cube with the shading and it's got the logic bricks uh, that the original one had. So you don't have to recopy over all those logic bricks. You just manually, you just choose the new item, the old item, and then say copy uh, the logic bricks. Um, the only thing left to do is parent the camera to it. So that's the quickest solution I have for you. I really don't know what happened to that one cube to cause it to be like that. Um, but I hope this is a solution for you and importing new objects they should be fine because uh, as I just imported that cube so I'll even uh, create a new uh, we'll go UV sphere here I'll grab and pull off the side I'll hit P and you can see that's shaded it's not smoothed out but it's shaded so once again I don't know exactly what the problem was but this hopefully is a quick solution for you uh, thanks for watching thanks for asking the question I hope this helps you some uh, I'll keep looking at the file a little bit more. If I figure out what it was that was done to that original cube, uh, I'll let you know. But at this point, I have no clue, but this is a fix for it. So thanks for watching, and have a great day, and visit filmsbychris.com.